Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here, back to show off some more plunder that I have acquired here recently. No, you are not seeing things. I am recording uh, where I used to record all my videos and on my phone, so it's going to be better quality this time around. And the reason I'm doing that is because, uh, yeah, the uh, metal layer is a bit of disarray. I'm in the process of uh, rearranging it, getting some new stuff put in there to organize my CD collection a lot better. And... Uh, Stuff like that, and I was hoping to do a video doing kind of like a mini room tour redo, basically showing off just like the new and improved metal layer with the new flags and things like that. But it's still a ways away from being completed, and it's still kind of a clusterfuck, and it just wouldn't be possible really to uh, record up there. And I just decided, you know what, stuff's piling up, I just need to do an update and just get it over with. So I decided to record here, and I know some people will be glad for that because then. You know, they'll be saying, oh, great, the quality's a lot better now that you're using your phone again. So, yeah. First up, got four used ones this time around. Uh, first three came from Landlocked Music. Went there maybe a couple weeks ago. Picked up three things. Got Oppressor with European Oppression Live. Obviously a live release. And this is actually the first uh, thing that I've ever picked up from this band. I've been meaning to pick up some stuff for a while. And uh, I know a lot of people don't like live albums and they say well you know a live release is not exactly the best way to start out your collection of a band but you know what it was there it was cheap why not next up got my second album from this band this is Disfear with live the storm and uh features tomas Lindbergh of at the gates on vocals as does the other album of theirs that i have and uh yeah really solid stuff they call this a uh, db I just, to me, it sounds just like death metal. It's just death metal to me. And the last one from Landlocked is one that I saw several people, including Count Blagareth, show in um, their relapse grab bag. And, of course, it wasn't in mine. And when I saw it in there, I thought, huh, somebody must have got this in their grab bag and decided no, they didn't want it. But that's the uh, self-titled from the band Wrong. And uh, from what I understand, it's supposed to be uh, kind of grindcore type stuff. So... Looking forward to checking this out. I still have not gotten around to spinning this one. I've been listening to some other things, including uh, several 2017 releases, which are really kicking my ass. But uh, the last used one I got from the uh, outlet store for half price books for $2. Only thing in there that really caught my eye that uh, I wanted to check out is Sadist Euphoria with Instinct Obsession. Uh, pretty decent, brutal death metal. Nothing, you know groundbreaking or anything like that but you know it'll uh, scratch the itch when you get it all right moving on to the new stuff uh this first one is from a band that i only ever really thought i would buy their first album because to me their first singer was their best and tragically he passed away not long after they recorded their debut album and uh everything i'd listened to past that i just i don't know i just didn't click with me i wasn't really getting into it but for some reason, I decided to check this one out. This is, I believe, their new latest release, and I really got into it, and uh, that's Drowning Pools Hallelujah. Not a very good title, but uh, really cool cover art, in my opinion. Really good album. I listened to it, I don't know how many times now, probably close to 10 times. So I'm definitely going to go back and uh, give the rest of their material another chance. Next up, I uh, ordered this directly from the band. This is their swan song release. This is the self-titled from Conducting from the Grave. And it was kind of funny because I got an email from them uh, a little while after I would ordered this. And the guy was like, I'm so sorry. So, you know, I don't check the, you know, notifications or whatever, sometimes weeks at a time. And we usually don't get very many orders. So they didn't even realize I had ordered this and they hurried up and shipped this out the next day. Really good death core release. <clears throat> Next up, Through the Eyes of the Dead, Bloodlust, and really Malice, their second album, was the only one I really wanted for the longest time. I just, you know, when I heard that album with uh, Nate Johnson on vocals, I just fucking fell in love with it. And then I decided to check out this, which is their debut album. I did not like the vocals whatsoever. I just could not get into it. So, um... It's been a while since I checked it out, and recently Runner JMA on Facebook posted a link to a song from this, and I listened to it, and I was like, that actually sounds really good. And I went on their band campaign, and I listened to this thing like two times in a row, so I had to pick up the, the CD of it. 
So thank you, Josh, for uh, reintroducing me to this band, I guess you could say. And then I also got, um, I think I got this off of a seller from Amazon. This is the Through the Eyes of the Dead split with uh, the knife trading call, uh, called Annihilation of Expectation. And uh, had never heard the knife trade before. They're pretty good. Double check, make sure the disc is going to stay in there. I tried this one other time and the disc flew out on me. But uh, the knife trade is actually the uh, band of Ryan Knight, who is the guitarist in the Black Dolly Murder. And he actually was in this first and then got the gig in Black Dolly Murder. So, really cool. Next up. Gate Creeper, Sonoran Deprivation. Really good uh, death metal release. I've been meaning to pick this up ever since it came out, but uh, just for whatever reason, had not gotten around to it until, uh, until recently. And uh, <laughs> while I was on kind of an Amazon shopping spree, I was going through my wish list, and I happened to see this uh, on there, and it had been marked down like super cheap. In fact, I think I got it from a seller on there, but Amazon was, you know, shipping it, and it was only like five dollars. And I was just like, "Holy shit, I got to pick that up." This is a Revel in Flesh with Death Evocation. Really awesome death metal. Really dig the vocals on this one. I'm gonna have to check out the rest of their releases. Really digging the uh, little artwork for the band members there. Next up, Rage Nuclear, Unrelenting Fucking Hatred, new project of uh, Lord Worm, formerly of Cryptopsy, another one that I've been meaning to pick up for a long time, and uh, I believe it was Barnes & Noble had this marked down really cheap, and I had a 15% off coupon, so put two and two together, and now the album is in my collection. Oh, got this one off of eBay. Finally completes my collection for this band. I've been trying to find a decent priced copy of this for a long time. And funnily enough, I ended up buying it off of a seller that I normally go to a lot on uh, Amazon. And I remember that he had had an uh, eBay store, but he never even showed this for sale on uh, Amazon, which is kind of shocking. But this is an uh, Ackercock with Rape of the Bastard Nazarene. Really pleased to finally own this album. Like I said, it completes my collection. It's the last one that I needed, so yeah. Damn shame these guys broke up, but what can you do? Next up is a uh, pretty good hard rock, kind of a modern hard rock album, I guess you could call it. This is Breathe by Through Fire. And this is released on Sumerian Records, which is kind of shocking to me. And a funny little story, well... Not so much funny as it kind of pissed me off. But uh, I happened to come across this album in Best Buy. And when I saw it on the shelf, it had it didn't have one of their price tags on it. So I was like, huh, that's kind of awkward. Oh, well. And I looked it up, read about it, listened to a song on YouTube on my phone. I was like, oh, sounds pretty good. I'll go ahead and pick this up. So I took it up there. And, you know, so the girl had to get on her phone and actually look it up on their website to get the, you know, whatever code they needed to put it up, or the price for it, I guess, on the register. And she goes ahead and puts it on there, totals out my order. But then she's like, well, hold on just a second. And she looks up, she goes, oh, this is not available for uh, in-store pickup, so I can't sell this to you. And she took off my bill. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, just because your warehouse fucked up and sent you this when you weren't supposed to get it, you're not going to sell it to me? It's like, it's in your fucking inventory. So you're expecting... You know, you're going to send this back to your warehouse so that I can order it online and then you can send it to me when well, you can just sell it to me right now. Yeah. I to say I was not very happy, but uh, I left from there and promptly ordered it on Amazon. Since I got Prime, I got it within two days and I actually wound up getting it cheaper than I would have at uh, Best Buy. So, yeah, fuck that. And uh, definitely the song to check out if you want to hear these guys. Stronger, really good song. Definitely my favorite from the release. Another eBay purchase. I actually had to get this from a seller in Germany. And uh, this band, for some reason, their shit is hard to find. I don't know why. This is uh, A Night in Texas with Invigoration. Just a little uh, five-song EP. They have a uh, full length out. And a split with Angel Maker, which I would love to try to get both of those. But I just cannot seem to find them anywhere. 
Alrighty, the next three are all from the same band. <clears throat> and uh, like I've been doing in quite a few of my videos here recently, got to give a shout out to my buddy Ryan, Super Metal 1993. He is the reason that I finally decided to pick something up from both this band and the next band I'm going to be showing. <clears throat> so cheers, bro. Thank you so much. But uh, he finally convinced me to check out Miss May I. And uh, I picked up the ones that he recommended to me. And this is Monument. And this is the uh, deluxe edition. Comes with a uh, bonus disc here, bonus DVD, which I have yet to uh, go through, but the album itself really fucking solid. And then we have uh, At Heart. Really good uh, metal core. Like I said, I've been contemplating picking these guys' albums up for some time now. And he told me, he said, look, he said, you just need to do it. And these are the ones that I would recommend. <clears throat> and then I also picked up uh, Rise of the Lion. Really like that uh, cover art. Has a nice little uh, kind of a silver foil, I guess you can say, on the booklet there. And the next band that he got me into is one that... Um, you know, to look at their logo and a lot of their t-shirts that they sell and shit like that, you would think they're one of those bands that has, you know, pretty decent, you know, growled or, you know, gruff vocals. And then those whiny bitch clean vocals that totally ruin a lot of metalcore these days. <clears throat> and um, I even told him when I was talking to him, because me and him talk quite a bit on Facebook. I was like, you know, I said, I always remember these guys being that way. You know, the one song that I heard and he was like... Are you sure you're remembering the same band? He said, you need to check out this album here. And he gave me an album to check out. And as soon as I heard it, I was like, this sounds nothing like what I remembered. So I started listening to the album. And I listened to it, I got, I don't know how many times, probably four or five times over a two-day period. Just couldn't get enough of it. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. I've got to order this. And I actually ended up ordering all but, like, I think it was their debut album because the Amazon was out of stock. And they had them the cheapest, so... But the band in question is uh, Parkway Drive, and this is uh, Horizons. And uh, these guys are a metalcore band, but honestly, they sound... I mean, they're on like the heavier side of metalcore. They almost sound deathcore -ish. That's how heavy they are. And this is the album that he actually told me to check out. And I fucking love the cover art, and I really love this album. This is a uh, Deep Blue. We have Atlas. And then their latest one from 2015. This is Ire. And it comes a little slip case here. All right. Next up is Mayhem with Live and Zeitz. Completely forgot that this was coming out. Happened to see it uh, mentioned somewhere, so I hurried up and ordered a copy through Amazon. I have not had a chance to listen to that one just yet. Next up, Enterprise Earth, Patient Zero. Again, really awesome deathcore. Have uh, one of their EPs. Can't remember the name of the EP off the top of my head right now. But I actually ordered that one at the same time as uh, I pre ordered their latest one, which is uh, Embodiment. Really love that cover art. And uh, I gotta say, really solid album. I've only spun it a couple times so far, but I'm really getting into it. Next up, Reaping Asmodea, Poison of the Earth. This was actually the first item off of eBay that I actually won where I actually placed a bid for something. And uh, the seller said that he spun it once and it hasn't spun it since. And to look at it, it's in amazing shape. And it definitely looks like somebody just took it out of the package and then decided, oh, I don't want this. This is actually uh, self-released by the band, if I remember correctly. So, of course, I also had to pick up their uh, latest one, 2017 release, Impuritize. Fucking love that cover art. Really, really awesome deathcore. 
I definitely recommend you guys check these guys out and check out the artwork on the disc. That is so fucking badass. <clears throat> and then I actually got my first uh, body count album. Got their latest one, Bloodlust. Yeah, this is actually a really good album. I uh, really enjoy it. Um, yeah, probably uh, my favorite tracks on here would be uh, This Is Why We Ride and All Love Is Lost which Mac, with uh, Max Cavalera from uh, Soulfly on guest vocals. But yeah, overall, really good album. I've listened to it probably half a dozen times or better since I've gotten it. Next up, we have the new Demon Hunter, Outlive. Only uh, giving this a couple listens so far. Pretty decent stuff. You know, it's Demon Hunter, so you kind of know what to expect with these guys. Got the new Obituary album, self-titled. Really, really good album. I actually like this more than I thought it was. Uh, I would. Their uh, last one, actually the last couple have kind of left me a little, eh. And, uh, but I decided to give this a shot because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it. And, uh, yeah, definitely a solid release. And the last two are uh, some Gore House production releases. Uh, I ordered this one along with a t-shirt, but it is in the laundry currently, or I would show it to you. This is the newest one from Scordatura, Self-Created Abyss. Fucking amazing death metal. Definitely give these guys a shot. This has definitely uh, been one of my favorite releases so far this year. And the other one I picked up is uh, the new Cranial Engorgement, Horrific Existence. Another solid-ass album. Another one that I've been spinning a lot lately. Definitely another one of my favorite uh, releases so far this year. So, yeah. That's going to do it. Um, hopefully my next update won't take as long. And hopefully before long I can get everything kind of fixed in the metal layer and I can get that little room tour video done because I really want to show you guys how I've reorganized things a bit, but it seems like it's going to take me a little while. But yeah, that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. And until next time, stay brutal.